Okay, so we're looking at the, uh, uh, the water shutoff for, for this house. Um, two things about the water shutoff uh, in your house. It's really important, A, to know where it is, or if you're away, telling whoever is watching your house uh, where it is, and, and B, having access to it. In the event of a plumbing emergency or you need to do some work on your plumbing system, um, this is the shutoff right here. Um, uh, sometimes they, they look a little different from that, but in the end, they're all valves, they're all designed to eliminate water flowing through the rest of the pipes within your house. Um, so in the case of an emergency, all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna isolate the valve by turning it as far as it'll go, and now that's stopping water flow into the rest of the house. Above our shutoff is what's called a PRV. Again, this is something that we wanna have um, access to, and it's actually one of the most important components in your plumbing system. What a PRV is, PRV stands for pressure reducing valve, is a valve that lowers the pressure of water coming in from the district or city um, to a good operating pressure within your household. You don't want high pressure going to your washer, um, to your uh, dishwasher, um, any fixtures really, because they're not designed to accommodate that pressure. So when this PRV goes, and they do, you want to look for signs um, like pressure out of your faucet coming out really strong and then dwindling as it runs, or a toilet running. Uh, those are very good indications that you need to call a plumber in, like R&B, and have us look at the PRV. Um, this one here, uh, we're fortunate, we've got a gauge right here above it. It's indicating just above 50 PSI, which is perfect. So we know this PRV is doing its job.